already up to day 18 on my 20 day insanity rip series uh which has been a lot of fun i'm glad you guys have enjoyed it too uh day 17 i you know and i forgot to day 17 i forgot to tell you what's coming on day 18 so uh be prepared um <laughs> so day 17 uh was the 74 peachy wax pack which just it turned out to be so much fun so uh top two vote getters was the uh, hank aaron special card number eight um, and if you didn't see, I did add uh, another few minutes to the end of that video uh, where I did some research, uh, figuring out what the heck happened and why. So um, the, anyways, OPG did most of the Hank Aaron specials uh, two per card instead of four per card like tops. And that's why the numbering came out different. And this one ended up being card number eight in the OPG. So this was the top vote getter, and a very close second was the second year Gossage. So that was uh, pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna grab day 19 right now. So you, I could show that as a preview. But for today, uh, for the you know crazy insanity rip series, I am gonna be tearing into two 1978 tops cello packs. Now that'll be fun. Almost, uh, what, 45-ish, 45 to 50 cards. Hopefully mostly packed fresh and not too thrashed from being in the middle near the gum or on the edge by the wrapper, but we are gonna tear into these two. 1978 tops baseball cello packs. That's gonna be day 18 today. You wanna see day 19? Gets crazier. Told you the last few were gonna be a little bit nuts. Day 19. And I marked it, I got this from Baseball Card Exchange, so hopefully we um, get some cool stuff. A 75 tops cello pack. Yeah, been holding on to this one for a while. So we got uh, NL championships on the front and Vic Coral or Vic Corell on the back. So that is going to be day 19. That is going to be crazy fun. Day 19, 75 top space ball cello. Today is going to be crazy fun too. We're going to hunt for, you know, the key rookies, the Molitor, the Molitor Trammell rookie, the uh, Eddie Murray rookie, um, and lots of other awesome Hall of Famers. Um, some pretty cool, uh, um, I like the, kind of like the Brett card, the George Brett card in 78, but let's just shut up and get into it. Um, here we go. Um, no particular order. I don't know why I grabbed two with team cards on the, and George Orta on the back and a Blue Jays player on the back of this. Um, I figured if there's such, you know, usually not too desirable uh, team cards on the front. Maybe there's some hot stuff inside. So we get the team cards out of the way. and Or, <laughs> I just thought of that, sometimes it's off the same sheet. We're going to get a bunch of team cards. I don't know. But let's, uh, let's tear into this. Uh, day 18. And thank you again for all the really nice comments. And sharing your hobby stories and... Really enjoyable. What should I? I don't want to get. Yeah, I get. Well, I just. I didn't want to get like gum mess all over, but maybe it'll fall right out. Oh, it's. What is? It? What? Complete major and minor league batting record. Huh. So Sparky Ender. I thought it was a blue. Look, it's it's a Hall of Fame manager on the back. Sparky Anderson. Well, look, I saw Toronto. I didn't see it. it said Toronto 1963. So he must have played in the minors for Toronto. Is this going to just fall out? Nope. Those are stuck. Wow, that's kind of cool. Okay, so we're going to do the the method I like to do. of Just we, we know the back, who the back is. So we're going to pull that up. And that's... <laughs> as player and as manager. Wow. 
So Hall of Famer to start. I said Phillies on that. Yep, so he did play in the majors right there. So he played one year in the majors. Phillies were it because you see 152 games, 477 at-bats, and then his totals down here. Poor Sparky just had the one season of batting 218. Did he have a homer? No homers. Oh, Sparky. And then a lot of years in the minors, but a legendary Hall of Fame manager. That's kind of neat. I think he'll he'll get a stand. Okay. Um, we'll use these guys to hide what's coming next. All right. Ooh, that's... Let's see. Is that going to work better like that? Does that kind of hide it? Can you guys see? I want to be surprised too. So that was the back card. Front card we already know is the Twins team card. Decent corners and everything for being the top card of a cello, but unfortunately way off center to the top. All right, next up. You know, I'm going to turn them this way because I can see who's coming and I don't want to. All right, there we go. Now it's a big surprise for everybody. Jamie Easterly. <laughs> Butcher cut on that one. Kind of the same cut. Oop, like that. There. Okay. Braves, Jamie Easterly. Nice shape, though. If these come out centered, I mean, the corners and everything are great. Let's hope, like, a major star is not near the awesome. I was going to say not near the gum card, but that's cool. Yes. I don't have a dinger or anything to make a noise here, but come on. Second year Dawson. Wow. Initially, I'm looking at it seven, seven and a half because of centering. But otherwise, look at the look at the shape of this. Look at those corners. It's a bummer. Just not a little better centering, but at least it's not as bad as the first two cards. Wow. Oh, that's just beautiful to look at. I love older cards and just sharp condition. Yay, second year Dawson. Oh, this, this is one of my favorite 78 cards. I don't know what it is about the pose or just awesome. Wow, cool. Boom. Beautiful. Okay, this is starting off great. Ooh, now the center is getting even better. Okay, uh, Raleigh Eastwick. That's a nice shape too. Just, I mean, it's a common, but it just, it's still beautiful to me. I love all these cards. 405. Oh my gosh, off center, but look, a Ryan, a Nolan, a Nolan Ryan. <laughs> yes. Centering makes it not worth grading, but look at the, look at the corners and edges and, man. Oh, that's a fun card to get. All right, this is, uh, Pretty crazy. Three Hall of Famers of four, because Necro. Okay, you just saw that, right? I've never seen this happen out of a 78 pack. I mean, I haven't opened much, but you get two of the same card back to back. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a bummer. They're both off center. But look at this. That's... I've never, I mean, that's, okay, sometimes like a, a FLIR pack, like let's say 85 FLIR, you run through and you go, da, 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 get a few cards, and then they'll repeat, like you'll get those same three cards again. But wow, that's, <laughs> wonder what happened at the Tops factory that day. That's crazy. I mean, that's such a cool card. I'm putting them, I'm going to put both of them visible here because that's, yeah, let's push these guys back so we can fit more. People, I mean, the the way this is going, that's nuts. I mean, you can get a total bust out of, like, a cello pack. I mean, you might get mostly commons and, you know. A... Wow. Another one? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Ken Henderson, look at this one. Look at that. 
Where's the flaw? I, I'm not even seeing it off center. I, I mean, is it even top to bottom? I mean, look at the look at the border under his name here and above there. I mean, this is wow. That I'm <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is just too fun. It's a common, but we're gonna put him back here because that is a sharp, sharp card. What a pack. But this is crazy, though. I mean, I'm, I'm, I know I'm beating a dead horse, but back-to-back -back of the same card, I mean, I mean, it could have been a common, but we got lucky in two, you know, two Ryans. Rorick Harrison. Rorick's a little off-center. Man. Oh, I think this is our gum, our gum pair. Let's hope it's... Well, it's a leader, but it's just fireman. Oh, but it's a Raleigh. And a... Brew Star. Okay. That's a funny Brew Star also, too. That he's, He takes weird pictures. Um, yeah, that's okay. I mean, not bad of a gum hit. I mean, you really can't... That's not bad. That's good clean pack there. So, another Hall of Famer, even though way off center, but still, I mean, he... You know, 70s cards, this happens. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Bruce Star, let's see the funny face. <laughs> poor, poor guy. That's pretty decent shaped gum, too. But that goes in the trash. Oh, poor Warren. I'm going to just clean off his surface there a little bit. <laughs> Warren. Oh. Man, that's, that's nicely centered, too. A little bit up. Let's look at the firemen. Who are who are good firemen in 77? Fingers and Suter. Campbell, Lyle, LeGrau. Enrique Romo. Lavelle, Gene Garber. Charlie Huff was a reliever? I didn't know that. I thought he was a starter. All right. All right, now we're into the second half of the pack already. So many cards in these. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's only like 20 total because that was, Warren was from the second half. Oh, I thought that was more in cellos. Don Gullet. Oh, I forgot to play the game. Let's play the game. No, I'm just kidding. But they have that, you know, you can play a game with your, what each player's doing there. All right, next up, Roy Smalley. Man, overall, these are coming out decent. The worst centered were the, well, the first couple of cards, and then the, the leader's cards. Okay. Okay, I paused because um, my 78 set... I need, I, I don't have a good copy of card 315, and I believe it's this. Oh, what luck. Oh, that is, ex that, see, this is exciting for me because I'm, do I really want to go and buy a Mark Belanger? Uh, just so I could, um, it's actually, no, it's missing. I have two 78 sets. One of them, it's thrashed. The other one, it's missing. I'm, I have a couple card's missing from my, uh, one of my 78s, and it's this card. I mean, that, <laughs> that made my day right there. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I, I, I saw it, I'm like, the name, oh my gosh, is this the one I need? Yep, card 315. Sometimes you just know when you go through your sets over and over again, and you're upgrading them, and looking at them, and messing with them, and just, uh, you start to know your sets well. Maybe I spent a little too much time with my 78 set. All right, Craig Reynolds. That's a nice shape, too. Just a little off-center to the left. Dang. Okay. I think we're getting towards the end of this one. Nope, there's a few cards. Don Money. Oh, that's sharp, too. Look at that little blemish right there. But, gee... 
Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to look at it for a little bit. You can fast forward just off center to the right, but come on. This is a crazy pack. Sorry to yell into the camera. Card, is this card 20 or 30? Come on, I should know this. 20, yes. <laughs> I told you I spent too much time with my 78 sets. Oh, good golly. Oh, man. Another, it just, oops, I put that on the card. I'm so glad I opened this. Man, now I'm going to start tearing through all my old packs because, I mean, yeah, they don't, a lot of them don't come out anywhere near. You get, you know, you get open a whole cello and get just a stack of commons, but this is just, oh no, we got to put, okay, this is a duplicate. So let's, here, let's, let's do like that since, since we, you know, we know we got two of these. Sorry, I am enjoying this. I know I, some people say I take too long with everything, but I'm opening these for me. This is, you know, these are my cards that I enjoy. Earl Williams. Oh, I'm very shocked how nice these came out. Other than the centering, these are just, uh, okay, we got a last couple of cards. Pat Rocket, what a name. Pat Rocket. That's a cool name. All right, this I think is the last card of this one. Six dollars, Cano. All right, what a pack. All right, that one's gone. Next pack. I mean, just, oh, that was fun. Oh my gosh, to hit the Pete Rose, to hit the Dawson. I don't know. I mean, that's, I don't know which is my favorite between those. Let's see if, let's see if one beats those out of here. I mean, I guess the Murray rookie would be obvious if I get that out of here, pack fresh. I do have one coming back in my, in the 70s special. I actually think I have a 78 rose in that special too. I, I can't wait for those uh, PSA orders to come back. All right. How do we do this without? Be careful. Careful. Come on. There we go. Oh, man. I love old cards. All right. Is the gum going to fall out? No. I don't think so. Okay. All right. So, same thing. We know Orta's on the back. We got a Blue Jays team on the front. So, we're going to pull Orta this way. And good luck to all here, us, me, <laughs> all the players who are within there. So Orta took a ding there. Sometimes, yeah, these cello packs, sometimes I just, uh, those out of the wax packs, rack packs, and cellos, I, I find that the worst condition cards come out of cellos. But still, I mean, I had these and I'm like, let's open them. All right. The Blue Jays team. How nice shot the twins was yeah off center because I was gonna say this one's in nice shape. Look at that. Look at the centering on this. Just a little bit, a little bit to the right. Not really. Find the flaw. I don't see one. For being a front card, that is sharp. Alright, here we go. Now into the unknowns. Ken Maka. That one's a little, took a little wear. <laughs> Just a funny looking helmet on him there. Might be a Ken Maka rookie. Who knew? All right. St. Louis, Ken Ritz. <laughs> also wearing his helmet kind of funny there. Huh. <laughs> All right. Next, oh, let's see what this one is. 
just for kicks. We got a double and a base on balls. Ooh, that's a good start to that rally. Let's have a home run of a player coming up. Oh, I saw rookies. <laughs> oh, boy. The only one maybe with some longevity here is Putnam and Revering. Off center. All right. Oh, and I'm glad that we're not getting, like I said, it could have gotten the cut sheet of, you know, a ton of uh, team cards, but we didn't. Just the one on the top, and let's hope that we get a run of rookie cards. Oh, another silly yellow Mario Mendoza. All right, on COG, they always look and see, what was he batting at that time? Oh, he's over the Mendoza line, but, the, but gee, just because of the one season where he hit a whopping 221, and then he was in the high ones, and then his 202, an outstanding consistent fielder with good range and a strong arm. Mario can play shortstop, third base, and second base. Drove home winning run for Pirates August 14, 76, with double and dramatic win versus the Astros. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, I jinxed it. It's a team card. Uh, nice shape, though. Look at this. That's a nice shape. All right. See how a pack can go. We haven't, there's, I don't think we've put anybody on a stand from this one yet. Glenn Burke. So that, that first cello was crazy lucky, but this is a nice shape. Oh, I love the color on that, the red, orangey red. All right, let's hit, let's hit something. Oh, I can't be greedy. I mean, that first pack was like two packs worth of stars. Rick Miller. Bill Lee. This guy was still playing like an adult baseball league into his 70s. All right, here's our stuck cards. All right, Doc Ellis and stuck to Doc is Terry Whitfield. Okay, so nobody that were upset taking potential dip. Boy, the gum is kind of just pulling right off nicely. Clean up Whit Whitfield here a little bit. There's Whitfield and Doc Ellis. What did they do? A single and a single. Wow, the rally still goes. Come on, come on, come on. That's it's greedy for me to say come on because that first pack. Rusty Staub. Very late in his career, I believe. Yeah. All right. I feel guilty every time I say, come on, because that first pack was just too amazing. Enos. Cabell. Oh, this was too fun. I hate to see it wrapping up. Lou Pinella. Kind of warped a little bit. Probably wrapped tight on that gum. Bill Buckner. We're getting some names. Getting names. Kiko. Again, I love the orangey red. Oh, we're getting down to it. Jim Kern. Al Cowens. Steve Yeager, so one more card. Steve Yeager, off center. That's it. Wow, didn't I didn't I call it saying you can get a whole cello of of uh, commons? We didn't we didn't pull anybody to the stand from that whole pack. But you know what? I can't complain because that that first pack. Um. We got some minor stars, Buckner, Pinella, Staub, Bill Lee. 
Um, that first pack was just crazy. Um, so we're down to pick your favorite card. I'm going to tell you mine. Mine's this Dawson. That's my favorite card of the rip right here. Close seconds to Pete Rose, but second year Dawson. That is cool. That is nice. So that's it. That's all I got for, uh, for this again. Um, day 19 is going to be the 75 cell. Oh my gosh. It's just, I'm crazy excited about that. Um, but yeah, vote for your favorite, uh, comment below. I know 78 is, uh, some people's uh, favorite sets. I know, um, Wade Boggs fan, that amazing channel. Uh, he's, uh, working hard on putting a really nice 78 set together. Um, so yeah, thank you.